Hi there. This tech talk is about publishing and sharing Google Docs. Basically, a couple of different ways of getting eyeballs onto your Google Docs other than your own, of course, in ways that will prevent people from editing that Google Doc, of course, primarily in the context of getting student access to your Google Docs, whether as a web page or in a version that would allow them, if you want, to be able to make a copy for themselves of your Google Doc. So we're going to just do a little comparison and contrast between publishing and sharing a Google Doc. Let me go ahead and share my screen with you here. At this point, you should see a Google Doc here on the right side of my monitor. And you've probably seen this copy elsewhere. Basically, this can be any kind of Google Doc. It doesn't have to be just straightforward text. You can have images, tables, et cetera, et cetera. So starting off with publishing a Google Doc, and depending on how long you may have been here, if you've been through one of our Moodle trainings in the past, up till about a year ago, we've been strongly recommending that you publish a Google Doc in your Moodle course, let's say, or elsewhere. So under the File menu, down to Publish to the Web, you'll find where it will allow you to publish a Google Doc to the web. So all you do, of course, is click the blue Publish button. It's going to give you confirmation. Do you really want to do this? Yes, I want to. And then at that point, this link right here, if I press Command-C or Control-C on Windows, that's the link to the published version of this Google Doc. Let me go ahead and show you what that looks like over here on the left side over here. I'll paste that in. And this is what the published version of the Google Doc on the right side, here it is on the left. So you see it looks different, of course. It's just a straight across web page version. So imagine, no matter how you have any kind of uh, formatting, any kind of alignments, images, etc., that may or may not translate very well into the published version. So what you'll have on the doc side and the editing side may look a little different. So if it's just straightforward text like this doc, it shouldn't be a problem, but uh, that's one easy way of publishing your Google Doc. So let's say you want to put this in your Moodle course. You can just grab this link that you've already copied and paste that as a URL resource type in Moodle. So what about the other way? What about a way to share a Google Doc? Look up here in the upper right where it says share in the Google Doc. If I click that, and then I click in the upper right of that pop-up, Get Shareable Link. So the default setting is anyone at Lynn Benton Community College with the link can view it. If I click this drop-down, you'll see that's the setting it gives me right there. But I don't want students especially, I don't want them to necessarily have to be logged into their LBCC Google Apps account, to their Gmail account to be able to view this, especially if they're just running on a Moodle course, they may or may not be always logging in to both Gmail and Moodle. Most likely, they're going to be only logged in to Moodle. So unless you've got a specific reason for them to necessarily need to be logged in to also their Gmail or their Google Apps account, I would suggest going down here to the More area and then have right here the second one on any, anyone with the link. Of course, the default setting for access is can view, but if you wanted to for some reason, you could let them edit or comment. But the vast majority of times, of course, you're going to want your students to only be able to view a Google Doc. So, of course, they can't be editing your content for other students to see. And then you click Save. Now, at this point, the link right here in the pop-up is what you're going to put in your Moodle course, let's say, again, as a URL resource type. I can click that right there. I can click Done. And then I can paste that link into my Moodle course, or for that matter, into an outgoing email, et cetera, et cetera. So the difference, again, between publishing under the File menu and sharing under the blue Share box, that's the main difference. Let me go ahead and... I'm going to get an incognito window, which, by the way, incognito window is up here in this little, three little lines up here on the upper right, down to new incognito window. And that's just basically a window that doesn't recognize any logins of the browser windows behind it. So this is 
simulating if a student was was clicking into a link on my Moodle course, let's say. Paste that in there. And that's how it's going to look. And of course, I'll have view only. Now, if I was if I was a student logged into my LBCC Google Apps account, or for that matter, my personal Gmail, under the file menu, this make a copy, it wouldn't be grayed out. It'd be available for me to make a copy of this Google Doc that would then reside in my Google Drive. So that's one thing to keep in mind if you're sharing a Google Doc with anybody. And this can be a Google Doc, a Google Slide, a Google Sheet. If you share that with people with viewing only, they will be able to, if they know how and they want to, under their file menu down to make a copy, make a copy of that doc. So that's got pluses and minuses to think about too. But those are the basic differences between publishing and sharing a Google Doc. And that about covers it. Thanks for watching.